Well, hello. And uh, this is Brother West. This is Prophet West. Uh, coming back to you once again. I want to tell you a short story. I want to tell you a short story. And in this short story, there's a message uh, that God has given me for some of you who fit this profile, who fits um, the criteria and the, and the description of what or the story that God has given to me to stay up to tell you um, specifically with detail and so um, the story is and the title of the story is lost in a betrayal lost in a betrayal and just think about it now just just naturally so all of us at some point or, or another you will get betrayed and betrayed simply I mean this explains is when someone does something that you don't expect them to do that causes you to become hurt that causes this disrespectful they either cheat on you or they take your words and they use your words against you or they do something they do something to hurt you they do something to deceive you basically a betrayal and um, and and the person is you, you hurt you feel hurt you feel angry. You don't want to let go of the anger. And a person who's lost inside of a betrayal is the person who don't know how to let go. You are the person, and this is the person I'm talking to. You do not know how to let go of what happened. See, see the thing about it, what separates a strong person or what separates going to that next level or dimension uh, and what God has for you is the ability to know how to deal with after things haven't gone your way. After. And the thing about that, that you you have to go, you have to do, and what will really help you in this way, and this is one of the things that God has spoken to my heart, is that when God's word is deeper in your heart than your hurt. See, because when God's word is deeper than your hurt, He's able to heal your hurt. And the way that he's able to heal your hurt is by touching your heart. Because once he touches your heart, uh, healing will activate, change, deliverance. Uh, Jesus said, my sheep know my voice. And so when the voice of healing speaks to that hurt place in your heart, everything must conform to the voice of healing. So those people who are stuck or trapped in a, in a betrayal, what you need to do is mentally free yourself from that and saying, I will not live this way. I will not think this way. And say, and, and the main thing you need to do, you need to stop thinking about the cycle or that thing, that situation, that episode. This is what breaks that spell. And this is what breaks that cycle when you begin to stop thinking about it and replace what you've been thinking about negative with something positive and begin to think about all those things that are good begin to think about all those things that are pure and of a good report and and thinking of those things it will cause your mind to be transformed the bible says to be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind and so what what will happen is that the more you think on jesus and you think on those things that god calls us to think on what will happen you will translate and you will transform from death to light uh, from, from, from death to light you will transform from what's binding you to becoming free this is a shift see the shift is in your mouth the shift is in your heart and it's in your release when you begin to praise God and call on his name then the shift the change is going to happen the change what you've been waiting on it will happen when you begin to call out and ask God to change the way you think to bring you out of that bondage to bring you out of that spell, to bring you out of that mindset, to bring you out of that fence city, to bring you out of that stronghold, of that way of thinking, of that way of feeling. It's almost like being like like uh, being on the ropes in the rope a dope where you become hit and you're hurt and the situation just keep hitting you, keep hitting you, and you can't do it because you're paralyzed from that, that situation. You're paralyzed from the thought of him. 
You're paralyzed from the thought of her and, and you're stuck there and you're stuck. See, but what God is doing, God wants you to think on him in that place where you're being hit. When you think on him, he's going to cause you to wake up. He's going to cause you to move again. He's going to cause you to hope again. He's going to cause you to arise again for even the Bible says to, to awake. He, that's what God tells his people. Oh, Zion, awake and put on strength for the glory of God has arisen upon you. See, there's a glory. And so God is waiting on you to wake up. God is waiting on you to arise. God is waiting on you to shake that thing off. And see, that's all it is, is a thing that what is holding you, what is pressing you is a thing. And what you need to do is shake it off. Even Paul said, lay aside every weight. You need to lay it aside. I can do all things through Christ Jesus that strengthened me. That's, that's, that's the scripture to the one that said, I can't do it. You can do it through Christ. You can shake it off. You can say, I will. I will not live this way no more. I will not feel this way no more. I will not live in poverty no more. I will not be live in fear no more because of him who lives in me. And by his stripes, I am healed and I'm free. Liberty belongs to me. And see, that's what you have to begin to tell yourself and tell your situation and your situation. God will snatch you out of that situation. Have a good day. God bless you.